Today let's talk about the 10-inch meat slicer. It's a 150 watt unit, uh, 110 volts. It features a 10-inch blade, and this is our Pro Series slicer. It's capable of slicing thicknesses up to about 10 and a half millimeters, which is about 7 16 of an inch. After you take it out of the box, you're gonna want to clean all the parts in hot soapy water before you slice anything. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to remove this sliding tray. Loosen the knob on the lower portion of the tray. Next, before you do anything around the blade, you wanna make sure that you set the thickness dial to zero. And that's just gonna cover this sharp edge so that you don't accidentally bump into it with your hands. Another thing I'd like to mention is, don't plug the slicer in as you're disassembling it uh, to clean things up. So to remove the front guard, there's a knob on the back side here. We're gonna loosen that knob. Once the knob's loose, if you push forward on it, it'll push this blade guard out. You can remove that, and then the knob comes out the back side. Now we've got our blade exposed. You're gonna have to use a four millimeter hex key to remove the three screws, and that'll allow you to remove the blade. Let's go ahead and do that. If the screws are a little tight and you're having a hard time keeping the blade held still, there's two holes drilled through the blade and you can use the shaft of the knob through this hole to block the blade from rotating as you loosen the screw. Now with all the screws out, adjust the thickness gauge to the maximum setting and that'll allow you to access the blade. Now be mindful of this sharp edge here. If you push up from the back side, you can support the blade on the front, pull it out, being careful not to handle the blade by the sharp edge. Take all this stuff to your sink, wash it in hot, soapy water. You don't really want to submerge any of this, but definitely take your time, clean all of the areas that could come in contact with the food that you intend to slice with it. We've got some ham we're gonna slice here. One quick note, make sure whatever you're slicing uh, is free of any bones or, or anything that you would encounter with the blade that could damage the blade. So th this is a bone-in ham, and uh, we've cut a chunk off of here, not only to make it a little more, more manageable, but also just to prevent any accidental contact with the bone. First, we're gonna set the thickness gauge to the desired thickness of our, our lunch meat slices. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that. We'll put the ham in the tray. Set the holder against the tray and we're ready to turn it on and start slicing. After you're done slicing, always close the thickness gauge back up to the zero setting, just so as you're moving meat on and off of the tray or whatever you're slicing, that you don't accidentally encounter the sharp edge of the blade. We've got the ham sliced. Now one thing I'd like to mention, the slicer also works really well for slicing beef if you want to make some whole muscle jerky. And when you're slicing bigger, heavier items, there's an added feature here, which is a support for this shelf system here. So say we adjust this to a larger setting for slicing some jerky, it's possible that the weight of the meat on the tray could deform this plate a little bit and it could result in some uneven slices. So you can adjust this stop up to help support this blade so the weight isn't pushing the tray further away from the blade. You can lock it in like that. After you're done slicing, you may need to touch up the blade if you've noticed that it, it's not slicing as well as it was. It may be a little bit dull. So this unit comes with an automatic blade sharpening system. Again, make sure your blade guard is set to zero. Loosen the knob on the back side of the housing, raise it up, rotate it 180 degrees, set it back down, and snug up the knob. There's two buttons on the sharpening system. There's a button on the back side, which is gonna sharpen the back side of your blade, and a button on the front, which is gonna remove the burr created from sharpening the back side. So you'll turn the machine on, hold the button in on the back side to engage the blade. You'll hear it grinding. Hold it for about 15 to 20 seconds, Release it, press the button on the front side. Three to four seconds is all you need to remove that burr. Turn the machine off, and then adjust this back to its stowed position. 
While this 10 inch slicer works great for larger cuts of meat, we also have an eight inch slicer that works really great for cutting smaller items such as cheeses, summer sausage, and similar smaller items. Here we've got our eight inch meat slicer. It features a serrated blade, 110 volts. Slicing thickness is anywhere up to about 12 to 15 millimeters, so a little over a half of an inch. If you've got gloves, go ahead and put those on before you're handling any of these products. We're gonna go ahead and start by slicing some sausage. I'm gonna go ahead and start this up and we're gonna run some slices through. Now I'm gonna switch over to the cheese. Since we've got a little more room here, I'm gonna go ahead and use the tray. You may notice as you're slicing that it has a tendency to flare off on the back side a little bit. And this is just from the product being drugged through the blade rather than pushed through. So if you rotate this every few slices, you'll help minimize that effect. So we're gonna rotate that around 180 degrees. So we're leading with this edge now and it's gonna square that back up. So once again, here we have our eight inch slicer. Works really well for smaller items such as summer sausage and your cheeses. We've got our 10 inch professional grade model. Works well for slicing deli meats, such as the ham that we've done here today, slicing jerky, any other thicker cuts of meat. For more detailed specifications on these and any of our other meat items, please visit madewithmeat.com.